Welcome back to another Shotcut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to spend a lot more time on uh, using the timeline, uh, editing our video. We'll learn about lots of different tools to do that. So to get started, we'll just type in um, a project name and hit start. And then if, uh, again, like, like in the last video, if yours doesn't look exactly the same way, we can click on settings and or click on view and go to layout and choose from some of these different layouts. But the most important thing is to have this playlist active. So you might have filters. You can go down here and click on playlists. If playlist doesn't appear, you can click on playlists and it'll bring it up. So once we have playlists, uh, then we can actually go to our video clips. So I have some clips selected here. I just hit, hold down the shift key and select multiple clips. And then left click and drag and drop them in. And that uh, it starts playing. So we have all these clips in here that I just brought in from my computer. Another way to bring in clips is to just go to open and then you can select multiple clips or individual clips and it will add them here as well. This one's already, I already brought it in once. And so if we double click on one of these in the playlist, it shows us what we're looking at as our source. Our project is not active yet. There's nothing in our actual project. And down here, there's, a, there's also timeline and keyframes. And I just wanna mention, if you're on keyframes and you try and drag a video down, it's not gonna go down. It's not gonna go into your project because you don't have any project. You have to go to timeline and then you can drag it in and then you'll actually have this video track. So right now, I just brought this video in here and we can bring it right to the beginning. If I wanna have a different video clip like this one here, I can drag it down. And now I have a gap in there as well. And if I wanna bring in, this is like a very long video. It's one minute and 29 seconds. Not, not very long, but it's a, if I bring it down, it's gonna take up quite a bit of space on my timeline. And I can zoom out and see, compared to these first two, this one's pretty long, which is fine. So I can left click and move these around. But maybe I only want a small portion of this video. There's a couple ways to get just a portion. So I can find the part that I want, maybe this part where he's hammering on this piece of iron. We just get the playhead to that uh, portion. And if we hover over this tool, we can see what it's called. This tool is called Split at Playhead. If we can click it, and it will split the video right where the playhead was. Now I have two video clips, this one and this one. If I hit play, they're gonna seamlessly go right next to each other because it's, even though there are two video clips, you know, we split it so it's supposed to be there. If we click this first one and hit the delete key, it'll go away. And then we can come to the portion, maybe we only want to have the hammering happen during this, you know, about this length. We hit the split again, select the uh, second part of the video by left clicking on it and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. And now we just have a nice short video clip of just hammering on this piece of steel. I can left click and drag it and bring it closer into my project. Actually, I'm gonna bring it away for one sec because I wanna show you another way. If I wanna have this, uh, video clip of this horn, what's that called, powder horn? <laughs> we can left click here and we can shrink this down as well. So we hover to the end of the video clip, hold down left click and we can make that video shorter. So now I have a couple short clips here. They even, probably should have made them even a little bit shorter than that. But I want to show you another way we can do. So this one here, if we go back to our source on this one, we see now we're playing and, and it's not moving on our timeline because we're looking at our source. But if I want to get just this portion of the fire, I can actually come over here and I can click these little triangles. And I can select just a small portion of video here. And I can drag it down. So maybe it's a teeny tiny portion. I can left click and drag. And now it brings in just this little sliver of video. It doesn't bring in the whole 1 minute and 29 seconds worth. It just brings in this little tiny portion right here. So we can play that and see what it looks like. Another good way to do that is go back to the source. We can change if we want the out point. Instead of dragging this triangle, we can just go to that portion and, and hit the O key on the keyboard and that selects the out point. And we can go to this part and select the I key on the keyboard and select the in point. So while that's playing, we can press I, and then press O on the keyboard, and now we've got a tiny little sliver of video that we can use. 
So play with that. It's a really, really good tool. And it's similar functionality you'll find in lots of video editing software. Uh, if we want to get rid of a clip again, we left click. It'll be selected in red. We hit the delete key and it goes away. But there's a gap now. There's a black gap that'll play this black nothingness and then it jumps to the next part of the video. So if I hit control Z, it'll undo that change. It'll come back. You can also go to edit undo to bring it back. But if I want this clip to disappear and I want the gap to not be there, I want this video to just kind of shrink up and appear right there. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see that more. We can actually just click the cut over here and we'll cut that clip out and then everything just shrinks up right to where it was going to be before. And now that video clip is now saved in our clipboard. So if I want to, um, we come over here to the playhead, I can hit the paste icon and now that video that I cut out is going to be pasted here at the end. So if I want to move this clip to the end without creating a gap, I mean I could just left click and move it, but now there's a gap there. So if I want to move it to the end without creating a gap, I hit the cut, uh, I select it first, hit cut, and then go to the, have the playhead go to wherever I want it to paste it, which will be to the end, and hit paste. Now I've effectively moved that to the end without creating any gaps. Does that make sense? Maybe I want this portion over here. I can play and see what this looks like. I want this portion of the video to play multiple times. Well, what I can do is hit the copy. So I hit copy. Now that's copied to the clipboard. And now I can paste it. I can go to the end and hit paste. And it pastes this video. So it's still over here, but it's also over here. And I can just keep hitting paste a couple times, really. So I, wherever the playhead is is where, where it will paste it in. So if I want this to be between these two, I hit paste, and it appears between those two. So if I want it here, I come right to here and hit paste, and now it appears there. So now we have kind of this fire happening in between every little clip. Um, what else? Uh, snapping, do we talk about snapping? So if we want to snap to the playhead, I have snapping enabled right now. If I take it off, it's this little uh, magnet uh, yeah, magnet icon. If I have that off, then it's gonna be a little bit harder for me. If I try and drag this clip right up here, I'm always gonna have a little bit of like a little yellow gap in there. I'm not gonna get right to it because it's kind of hard without snapping. But what snapping does is it makes it so that we always snap right to the clip. So it kind of pauses and let, lets it snap to a clip or to the playhead. If I want this to snap to the playhead, it'll also kind of pause a little bit and let me snap right to the playhead. If I have a gap and I want to move a video in and the gap is not large enough, I can't get the video in there. So sometimes you'll be like, well, this video will fit there, won't it? And you're wondering why it won't go. Well, it's because you don't have a big enough space. Um, that's only when you're moving video from within the timeline. If you're bringing in video from up here, like this one with the horn, if I drag this down, it's uh, usually it gives me a warning. Oh, I guess maybe it, it'll do it there. But if I have it selected here and I drag it down, it's going to say overwrite. So it's going to say warning. This is like where by dragging this clip in, if you drag it in right here now, you're going to overwrite everything that's kind of shaded white here, which would mean this, all these video clips will be gone and it'll cut into this one and cut into this one. Does that make sense? Let's give it a try. So we bring it down and we bring it there. Now this video clip is here and everything else that was there is now gone. So just be aware of that when you're bringing in video clips, it's good to bring them into like a blank space. Oh, go back to my source. It's good to bring them into the blank space at the end of yours if you're worried about overwriting. And it'll tell you if you're gonna overwrite it or not. Uh, so I think that's all we're gonna do in this one. If ever you're wondering what something does, you can hover over and see what these different things do. And so, like the ripple delete does kind of similar to what we were talking about, is where it gets rid of it and then everything sucks in. So it's the same as doing cut. So if you click on a clip and then hit ripple delete, it deletes it and sucks in everything without leaving an empty gap here. Um, so yeah. And then the scrub, this is this enables scrubbing so that when you move a video clip, you can hear what's happening with it at the same time. That's kind of, I don't really use that feature. So I think I'm going to end this video here. Go ahead and play with, uh, you know, resizing your, your timeline. 
um, play with some of these cut, copy, and paste tools. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts, Control X to cut, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. Um, go ahead and play with some of those. Play with adding in different clips. Make sure you know the difference between your source and your project. And on your source, play with some of the in and out of selecting just a certain portion so you don't have to come down here and you know cut it out by splitting it, playhead, all that. Um, and then be aware too, you can do all these edits. Instead of using these icons, you can click on edit up top. And we also have cut, copy, paste, undo, redo. I guess it's not all of them up there, but we have some of those tools available at the top. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below, and I'll catch you in the next video.